آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتى أوله فإن الله لا يحب الكافرين إن الله لا يحب المفسدين فإن الله عدو للكافرين إذا الله سين كفار إن أني كفر إن أني ذيس كفار وثا ولا إمبراء دجنو عقيدة دجنو توحيد دجنو لا إله إلا الله deficiency in this matter ولا إمبراء is saying the enemies of Allah سبحانه وتعالى are people who are disloyal in love focus with me on this matter Kufr, shirk, sins are haram. They're hated. They must be hated. It's part of wala and bara. And they must be warned of. Many of the modernists and the munafiqeen agree on this, apparently. Some of them maybe. But pay attention. If you look carefully and study in the Quran and analyze the verses on this matter, and it's from the wisdom of Al Alim, Al Khabir, that the Quran rarely mentions hate toward shirk or kufr or sins itself except in some even though it's hated and it's part of wala and bara there's few like wallahu la yuhibbu al fasad or another one wala yarda al ibadi al kufr in general the verses on shirk and kufr are in a deterrent context. قُلْ تَعَالَوْ أَتْلُوا مَا حَرَّمَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ أَلَّا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is deterrent from the sins. Generally, when it's the context of talking about shirk and kufr and haram. وَيَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ Another one. قُلْ إِنَّمَا حَرَّمَ رَبِّيَا الْفَوَاحِشَ مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَمَا بَطَنَ your tawheed is not tawheed without despising shirk itself. Yes. Yet the overwhelming majority of the verses are focused on mentioning the despising of kuffar themselves. Even though despising both is part of wala and bara and part of Islam. The focus is on despising the mushrikeen in kuffar themselves. And that is exactly the opposite of what the surrenderous munafiqeen are doing today. And they have an agenda behind that. If there was no verse in the Quran on the bara'a from kuffar themselves and what they worship other than what Ibrahim السلام, mentioned, it would be sufficient, more than sufficient. قَدْ كَانَتْ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَالَّذِينَ مَعَهُ You have an example, an excellent example in Ibrahim and those with him. إِذْ قَالُوا لِقَوْمِهِمْ إِنَّا بُرَآءُ مِنْكُمْ وَمِمَّا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ They said to their people, we fully disassociate ourselves from you. إِنَّا بُرَآءُ مِنْكُمْ We free ourselves from you. إِنَّا بُرَآءُ مِنْكُمْ We disown you. إِنَّا بُرَآءُ مِنْكُمْ We shun you. وَمِمَّا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ And, and, we free ourselves from your shirk. We disown. وَمِمَّا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ We disown ourselves from your shirk. وَمِمَّا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ We shun your shirk. So it's them and their shirk. Emphasis on top of emphasis. Kafarna bikum. We reject you. We do bara'a from you. We do bara'a from you. Shirk and mushrikeen. To a muahid, he despises and hates both. Inna bura'a'u minkum wa mimma ta'buduna min dunillah. In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the beginning, you have an excellent example in Ibrahim. Someone will say, well, they shunned them, they hated them, and they said that because they abused them. You heard that all the time. But the verse is beyond clear. They said, we are free from you. Right? Until when? Until when are we free from you? We disassociate from you. Until when? 
until you stop oppressing us, until you stop torturing us, until you stop abusing us, until you give us our land back. Enmity and hatred will continue until you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. It can't get any clearer than that. Then, like I mentioned, the hadith, the scholar statements on this are very clear. To separate between shirk and a mushrik or kufr and a kafir is basically saying that Jahannam was created as a vacant dwelling in vain. Kufr may enter Jahannam, but not the kafir. Their deviance means Jahannam will be vacant of mankind.